I tell myself this stuff. And even though you may not actually be in that capacity at that moment, eventually, you know, things is going to happen in your life that's going to magnetize those things and to, to, to make it come to fruition. Like, for example, I get this example all the time. If you want to be a fireman, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You say, I'm going to be a fireman, be a fireman. I promise you, if you want to be a mechanic, I promise you. If you want to be a plumber, I promise you, you're going to go into a hotel. You're going to be on a vacation, on a family union with your, with your mother or your father or your wife. And you're going to go into a, a elevator room, a elevator, and you're going to meet a plumber. You're going to wow. meet a fireman. And it's gonna you're gonna think it's chance happens. It's no it's not gonna be by chance. It's just your universe and he yeah. said your frequency is what you frequently yeah, see. That's a frequently fact. see. So it's all about magnetizing those things by sending into the universe and the more scientific we call it the ethers. Yep. Sending yeah. into the ethers and the ethers, what it does, it vibrates and then it communicates back with you. Yeah. You know, like me and him, we was gonna meet regardless. Yeah. Whether he, he knew it or I knew right it's gonna here. be your fate. Yeah. It's because of the way we think. Yeah, that's uh -huh. right. And then when he said he read Think and Grow Rich, I read Think and Grow Rich, there's no strange happiness. That's there's right. no accidents, Same age no too, coincidence, right? right? Yeah. And yeah. yeah, he read it at 19, <laughs> I read it at 19. Yeah. But it, it goes to show our, our, our level of progression and success is almost tantamount because mm -hmm. You know, we have the same principles yeah. of how we go about things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He may work out a little bit. I, might <laughs> got, I got a one pack. He got a six pack. But I'm going to get there. Yes, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get there eventually. <laughs> nah, yeah. I love that, man. I love that, bro. Man, being in the gym, right, Goldie? What do you love the most about waking up early, hitting that gym in the morning? Sometimes? Oh, man, I ain't going to lie. It's not that I love it. I love the results. I love ah, the mindset yeah. that it keeps me in. See, I'm yeah. not. it's not about doing the action. You know, the action don't really matter. It's about what it builds. It builds the For mentality. Sure. It builds. It puts me in that high-frequency state where I'm feeling better. I'm seeing yeah. solutions. I, I, I got a better mood, and that affects everything else. You know, I understand, you know, the body, the nice body is a byproduct. But like I was saying before, the most important part is the mindset that it builds when you go in to do something hard every single day. When you go in on like, damn, I don't want to go, but you go anyway and you feel good about it. You know, I look in the mirror and I'm proud when I walk down the street. I know that man didn't read today. I know that man didn't go to the gym today. So I self-validate myself. And when I self-validate myself, I don't need validation from other people. So it keeps me from doing things to please others, whether it's a man or a woman. So it's the process and the things that I get out of it mentally that mm -hmm. really do it for me. For sure. But Man. you know, Goldie said something to me yeah. on another podcast that I, I vaguely, vaguely remember. He said, when you working out and you feel like you can't go any longer and you just go that extra mile, which you say, that's where the real yeah, power comes yeah, from. It, it comes from just going that extra yep. mile. Yeah. You, you gotta dig Like deep. when you just, just when the point where you say, I can't lift that and you just lift it anyway. Yeah, you prove it to yourself yeah, that yeah, you can. That, so that gives you the agility and the ability to to move in every aspect of your life every the same aspect. way. That's facts, man. Yeah. That's facts. Man, discipline is so important as well. That's a whole nother aspect. Yeah, you know, but what's more important than discipline though is your environment. Cause your, come on. your environment will carry you farther than your than your discipline That's and your right. motivation. That's, That's right. like the easiest cheat code. I tell dudes like I do coaching. I tell dudes all the time. They tell me how oh, I live in like Idaho. I get the I say get the <laughs> fuck out that bum fuck it's, ass. There's nothing city. there for you. Yeah, listen. If yeah. you the biggest, if you the biggest in the pond, it's time to move ponds. I'm always man. I was in uh, Sacramento. I was in Vegas. I was in Atlanta. Now I'm in Miami. Shit, yeah. I'm gonna go to Dubai next. Yeah. I'm always trying to go where I, I'm at the bottom because that all that has all every time i moved to a city where people was doing it big it automatically elevated me because That's the standard is raised That's right. so you got to go places where it's way bigger than where you at just for the discipline you know i heard something i was on the brandon carter show and he was telling me he was reading a study yeah, and he said that. he said uh if if your best friend is 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 uh, overweight, you're fifty percent more likely yeah. to be overweight. But if his friend it was like that you that right? you don't even know yeah, is yeah. overweight, you're more likely to be twenty percent more overweight. Yep. And I thought that was crazy. It just goes to show how environment is everything. The people you're around are everything. Yeah. You have to very carefully curate your environment and the people you're around. If you're around losers, you're gonna be a loser. You bet you're better off being by yourself and just flooding yourself with positivity until you raise up to a high enough level that other successful people want to be around you than to just be there so that, that's why i say when it comes to discipline yes have discipline but environment will beat out that discipline every time if you're around a bunch of losers you're still gonna lose and i want to uh add to that goldie has become a better person since being around me and i became a, a better person being that's around a fact. Him. off each other yeah because yeah. like you know 
I was chilling. I didn't want to do none of this shit. You know what I mean? I didn't want to cool. do no podcast or nothing. <laughs> and Goldie like, man, we got to get up. We got to go. We got to go. Uh, call, see yes, what I'm And then, yeah. you know, once he started, he got me in that mode. Mm-hmm. Then I reached out to you. I reached yep. out to everybody. You know, now he, he, it up a <laughs> yeah. now he got me doing some Yo, shit. Yo, kid been working. So what he's he saying is yeah. 1,000% because yeah. the other people I was around, they didn't give me no motivation. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, even in relationships Ooh. is really what I want to say, Speak what I want to pivot. That. You know, in relationships, you know, if, if the person that you're around, you know what I'm saying, me is envious or jealous, or they don't understand your growth, they don't understand t- the trajectory that you're going on, yeah. they could pull you away. Your wife can bring you down, yeah. your girlfriend can bring you down, your significant other can bring you down because they not their rhythm is not matching your rhythm because yeah. you're in that environment of negativity. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. who wants to come home and, you know, debate with the person that they really trying to build with. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So, you know, in that respect, Goldie has a one, Goldie's 100% right too. So not only do you have to change the environment of your friends, you sometimes have to change the environment Ooh. of your significant other. Yeah, I was just because she that. could be bringing you down too through negativity. She could be, you know, just being petty, you know, asking stupid questions. <laughs> you know, every time they see another woman, they get yeah. jealous over yeah. nothing. When you're here with me, I'm here with you. You're my woman. I'm I'm down with you. I'm not going nowhere. Yeah. Where are you going? You know what I'm saying? Who is that? Mm-hmm. You know, you talking to somebody, it's business. They stand there with their hands on their hips, yeah. trying to figure out, knowing that this is going to intimidate this woman. And she's like, you want to uh, just handle this tomorrow? You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Because your woman is there. She acting a damn fool. Yeah. So, you know, you got to change environments not only from your negative friends that you know ain't talking about nothing they don't do nothing but sit up and play games all day <laughs> yep. you got to change that that, that environment yep. then you also got to change the environment of the people who are stuck in impoverished states that's right you know what i'm saying they comfortable with nothing you know living in the projects yep. or living you know at bare minimum you know you know i want to be around people that got a half a million dollars with a jury on that's right you know, and everybody like, oh man, dude, I love you, Jerry. I love you. Made me. He, I seen him with some uh, some Cardi. I went and bought me some. Yeah, I'm on. like, hold yeah. on, yo, nigga. Hey, I he gotta, inspires you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, when I first met him, I had a Cardi. He yeah. came back, I'm Cardi up. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he motivated me. Yes, sir. You know, like, that's a perfect example. If he's overweight, you're going to be overweight. And his yep. friends always a 20% chance that you're going to be overweight. But if he got on Cardi's, He's like, yo, it's I got to get my weight up. I got to get some. Gonna be yeah, some I'm saying, it's going to force Talk you to me. level up. Yeah. You know, and they say you the average some of the five people you hang around most. But right. people think about that, then forget about their significant other. Who is that person? Because that's the person that's going to have the most impact on that's your life. You lay with. And a lot of dudes, I tell them all the time, I see, they, see it in my coaching. The reason you're never going to be successful is because that broad you land with. You didn't you didn't vet her like you would vet a friend. She's everything, uh, the antithesis of everything that you want. You know, she's she's not motivated. She's not positive. She's negative. You're she's draining your life force just trying to keep her up on your level. And that's taking a life force away that you should be using to move forward. And a lot of times, you know, I hate to say it and I just said it, but I'll say it again. Every time I've really leveled up in my life yeah, and reinvented myself, that. man, I've had to drop the broad I had. It's not that I didn't give him a chance to elevate with me, but I understood from past relationships that I was trying to have this broad elevate with me and she was just dragging me down. The moment I got rid of her, I instantly went up. So I said, you know what? I'm not holding on to a broad who can't elevate with me because by nature, most women, they're not like men. We're conquerors. We're going out. We're reinventing ourselves. We're trying to get better. We're having personal development. Most women, they're going to stay where they at and they're going to try to treat you as the man you was when y'all met, even when you up here. So the only way you're going to get a woman to respect you at the level that you at is to meet her at this new level. You know, sometimes a woman could come around long for the ride, but a lot of these women, they don't have the mental capacity to understand that you've changed and treat you like that way they want to keep treating you like who you used to be and if somebody keeps treating you how you used to be man you're never gonna get to who you want to be and i'm gonna give you and your woman credit because she's Love, there that. over there supporting you appreciate and that's that. what every man need they yeah. need with your woman she's here i walk i'm seeing her walk <laughs> around with the camera yeah. she's she's checking the sound yeah. and that's called matching your yeah. rhythm yeah so you're 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 the exception appreciate y'all the that. exception and that's but gonna take you far everybody's yeah. not gonna name how many dudes who can have a woman up here, mm-hmm. you know, actually working with them on the show. Can't find it. It's not going to be too many yeah. women like that. Yeah. You know, and if they do, they're going to get bored. They're going to be yeah. venturing off yeah. and so on and so forth. <laughs> yeah. So you, you are the example of what me and Goldie talking about. 
That's you love. know what I'm saying? Me, y'all leveling up together. Mm -hmm. You know, and I know I, I may be wrong. Right. I think she's the motivating factor. Oh, for that. sure. Because I, because she, she the one. She, man, she, she, is, she be she running the business. Into, she is too into this podcast. Yeah, yeah. To, to, you know, and I know she's motivating you. Yeah. And, and that's what you need. Yeah, I for won't. Sure. A woman to motivate me. Yeah. I want a woman to tell me you. that I'm great. I yeah. want her to tell me that I look good. Yeah. You know, I ain't buying these expensive suits for myself. Mm. I'm buying these suits. Hey, you for need her. some flowers too. Can yeah, I, I want her to tell me that, <laughs> and on. then I'm gonna go buy more flowers. suits. That's and love. Then I'm gonna say, baby, look here. You yeah. know, you such a, a great compliment to me. Let you. me buy you a suit as yeah. well. It's you reciprocal. Know, let's go out yeah. together. I need to bring you into my uh, circumference. You know, but if, if but if every time you know you talk to a woman, well, man, you got. A hundred suits, why you buy another suit? Or, you know, they send some dumb stuff or, you know, you come in there, the food is not cooked. Those just things that a man don't need to be dealing with. Bro. Nah, not at all. It, it, it's, it's a huge energy leak. And like I was saying, your frequency is what you frequently see. Man, if you're doing all of this stuff, reading these books, motivating yourself, it's already hard enough to be successful. You already working on the resistance of your own mind and your own negative thoughts. Now you have another outside factor that's, that's negative on top matter. of that. It yeah. just makes everything a lot harder. Dudes yeah. should probably just be by themselves until they get the right woman. But the right woman could bring you millions. I've manifested a lot of beautiful things in my life with women who are on the same type of time. I say this a thing that I have when when I start to call my broad, and at the same time, she was like, I was just calling you. I was like, we got that mastermind going. Page. And once that mastermind is going, man, it's like we create miracles together. You know, my broad, I'll be on the road and I'll be like, you know what? I'm getting tired. She'd be like, suck it up. You know, you got this. You finna be big. You finna be, you know, she cleaning <laughs> yeah. my shoes. She like, you need to buy more designer. See, mm. that's the type of woman who's going to take you to the moon. You got to hold on to ones like that. Come on yeah. now. Hey, talk to him.